Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at Portable Painter's new palette. It's called the Micro. Just as a little disclaimer before I jump into it, usually I'll read off the documentation that comes with each product, but since most of what the paperwork included is actually instructions on how to assemble the palette, um, I don't really have much to go off of other than it is ideal for travel and it is about the size of a credit card. So naturally, I break out one of my credit cards. I can't do this on camera because I, I noticed that it's either my driver's license or my credit card. I don't have any other like gift card sort of things that are about the size of a credit card, so I couldn't really include the visual, but it is indeed smaller than a credit card considerably lengthwise. Width-wise, it's a little bit thicker, but it is an incredibly tiny palette. This incredibly tiny palette came in this really cool little tiny drawstring bag, and I love that this was included. First of all, it's like a really nice quality bag, but also you can fit other things in it. So let's say I use a lot of paper towels when I'm painting. So you can just put like a square of paper towel in the drawstring bag. You can put um, like travel size brushes or water brushes in it and then close the drawstring bag and then your palette and everything like that stays inside this tiny little bag. So I was happy that the little bag was included. I know that sounds kind of stupid to, for me to point out, but uh, I was really jazzed. It's a nice little bag. I I'm excited about the bag. I know that sounds stupid, but you can't take it away from me. <laughs> Getting back to the size of the palette, when it is enclosed in itself in a little box, it is two and a fourth inches in width and just under three inches in length. Once you disassemble that box, it comes in three pieces. So there's the top of the box, the bottom of the box, and then the inner component. You take out the inner component and then you attach the top and the bottom of the box into, like you slide the pieces into each other, which is extremely easy to do. It's a snug fit. Um, once you attach them together, the pieces aren't going anywhere. Um, the palette becomes considerably larger. So then it becomes just under four inches in width and then just under eight inches in length. There are six half pans that are included. Um, these are removable and they are attached to the palette with some sort of adhesive or tack or something like that. So you can turn your palette upside down. None of the pans are gonna be falling out. They're really stuck in there. <laughs> um, they say that if you use a palette knife, it should be easier to remove them. I haven't really found much luck with that. They are very stubborn, like they are in there. Um, but I'm also a weakling, so. <laughs> So this might just be me. <laughs> I think like anything else, like once you remove them, I, I'd assume like they would become easier to remove with time. Um, my palette knife is very, very, very flimsy. I don't know if there are sturdier palette knives, but I would recommend using a sturdier sort of knife or something like that um, to remove them. They are removable. Once again, I am just a big old weakling. But what I really like is that they are removable because you can fit full pans in this palette as well. So there are three combinations that you can have. You can have six half pans, or you can have two full pans and two half pans, or you can have one full pan and four half pans. So I kind of like the option of switching it up I don't personally know when I would switch it up. I mean, I don't use any colors significantly more than others, I feel like, so um, I would stick with the six half pans, but there is that option, and I love having options. <laughs> I don't like being stuck with what they give me, so it's very versatile that way. Um, as for mixing wells, Technically, I'd say there's four. So there's the two that come in the lid, and then there's a little kind of cover for the actual pans. 
and that has two as well but there is a deeper side piece and that side piece is the bottom of the box that I described earlier so this this box can be used to store water if you don't have a water cup but I also noticed that there are ridges on the bottom of it so you can kind of technically use it as three mixing wells at the bottom so technically I'd say one two three four there's four that you're meant to use but you can use seven in total um, but like me, I'm sure there's like a lot of people like me out there that don't necessarily use the whole well for one color. So I, I'd, I'd have plenty of room to mix colors and make a painting, no problem, even though this is like a tiny travel palette. What I will say is that it's nice to have the option for the water storage, but I would only use that if I was like in a hotel or something and I was sitting there and I was like I really want to paint something but I don't have a cup or whatever and then I would put water in it but if I was walking around holding this in the palm of my hand I would never ever put water in it. It's just not deep enough to keep water in and hold it. So in a pinch if you want to make it work you're gonna have to like set it up on the ground and put water in it or something like that but carrying it around it's just too risky business i am i for one am not coordinated to carry it around with water in it maybe someone else can do it um i'd love to see a video of it but i i wouldn't recommend that <laughs> there is a little handle on the bottom that you can pop out and that helps the palette stay in your hand this is very comfortable for my hand i have very small hands but i feel like this palette is just you know perfect it fits in the palm of my hand and i like where the the little rest that pops out i like where that kind of fits into my hand it's very comfortable to hold but also, I wouldn't exactly recommend that because there's a better option for holding this palette when you're out and about plain airing. And that is, I, I really like the idea of taking one of the side tabs and attaching it to my actual sketchbook with a large metal paper clip. It keeps the palette like parallel to your sketchbook and it doesn't damage the paper I tried on purpose because I, I never want to damage my sketchbook paper I'm like very particular about that some people do things that just like scratch and you know make marks in the paper and that really bothers me but I attached it and there were no markings from it and it held there stably it's considerably light you guys so like you wouldn't even feel it like if you were holding up your sketchbook and you had this palette attached to it it's not much heavier it's extremely light so I really love the idea of attaching it to your sketchbook when you're painting outside it's just so much less hassle to do that but once again would not recommend putting water in the water cup section <laughs> I just feel like disaster would happen if you were to do that so would not recommend, would recommend you take your own cup. And um, I always take my own cup, just like, I have like a little um, water thermos and it has like a little cup on top of it and then I take it out and I use that. But um, in a pinch it works, but functionally, like if you're walking around, I would not recommend using that water cup. But yeah, the idea of, a, it, of this palette attaching to a sketchbook super helpful super nice but yeah I absolutely love this thing <laughs> I mean I I really do I really I absolutely love this thing it's so small that I can't find a reason to not take it with me when I leave the house so I always leave the house with a sketchbook now I always leave the house with a palette like, I know you're not going to go painting every time you leave the house, but it's so tiny. I can't think of a reason not to bring it along. Like, what if I was somewhere and I was waiting for a while and I had nothing to do 
and like I saw this cool tree or something and I wanted to paint it like bam okay I got all my junk with me like just pop it out you know um, it's just so tiny I can't justify not having it in my bag I used to keep like colored pencils and stuff in my bag in like a, a pencil case but that takes up so much more room than this tiny little palette does so once again I can't justify not taking it like I swapped out colored pencils for this if you have the portable painter like the original classic version once it's assembled, I'd say it's about the size of the portable painter, but when it's all closed, it's like much tinier than the portable painter classic. You have half the colors pan-wise, but it's all condensed. Um, I, I still really recommend the portable painter classic. I would take the portable painter classic on a trip. Um, so let's say, I don't know, I'm going to Disney and I want to paint or whatever and I'm going to do a bunch of plein air stuff, but I want to make sure that like, you know, I have everything I need or I don't know, for like multiple pictures, I'm, I would take the Portable Painter Classic just because, um, that's a completely different palette with a different setup. I feel like both of these have their strengths. And I don't like one more than the other, but these are definitely my favorite travel palettes. Portable Painter has made my favorite travel palettes. Out of all of the palettes I've tried, these are by far my favorite. So if you are the type of person that likes to go outside, the weather is getting nicer, I definitely recommend you guys look into these. If you don't go for the micro, go for the classic, vice versa. They're both really nice palettes and I really recommend them. Um, oh, so you know how I said earlier that it, uh, when you assemble it all, um, and you can put water in the water section? <laughs> I just wanted to say that it sits flat. I put it on my desk, it sits flat. Nothing's like teetering over, and that's like really important to me because if it was rocking around, that would drive me crazy, but it sits flat, so. So that's, I guess, a good thing to point out. <laughs> Another thing to mention is that, you know how I said earlier when these half pans are all removable? They, it does fit standard size half pans and full pans. So if you were to remove these pans from this palette that it came with and take another half pan that you had already poured colors, um, you could just stick that right in here. I would say that because there's no adhesive on the bottom of the pan from like another company, that they would fall out. So you would have to stick some tack or some adhesive on the bottom of your pans to keep them all inside this palette. Or just don't fling it around like a baton <laughs> and they would stay in there perfectly fine. Just don't like turn it upside down or something like that, you know? But yeah, they do they do fit standard size pans. It's not like a weird size pan where, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend putting anything irregular in here. It definitely won't fit. But yeah. It's nice to have the option of just switching out your colors easily and replacing them with other colors, you know? I like that. Also fair to mention is that Portable Painter does sell extra pans for their palettes and they do come with the adhesive on the bottom of them so you can just buy that brand pan, it will fit for sure and you can put the adhesive on it, it all comes included, and then, um, yeah, so that's an option too. I don't think that there's anything else to, to review, except that I just realized I closed up my palette, it took like a few seconds, and then I noticed that once entirely closed, there is a section in one of the parts that keeps the side pieces in, where you can stick a string through it, so you could make it into like a keychain or something. <laughs> that is so cool. Like little things like that, where like, I wouldn't have thought of that. Like that's really awesome, and I just accidentally noticed it. 
no, there's not like a hole in the palette, you know, like, th but there's like a hole in the slidey side section so you can stick a string through. That's pretty cool. God, I feel like every time I look at this, I notice something completely different. So I'm always like turning it around and analyzing it like a weirdo. <laughs> I love this little palette. Gosh. Okay, guys. The only bad thing is that you can't really use the water cup. It's not super deep, so like if you're walking around with it, bad idea. But everything else is absolutely great. And like you can't even really, I guess, expect them to have a deep water cup because how are you going to do that but also make the whole thing itself so small, you know? So I don't, I don't really expect that for a travel, tiny, tiny travel palette like this, but... Even then, like, if you set it on the ground and put water in it, like, you're totally good. So, I don't know. I love this little thing. I think it's great. Portable Painter is, like, so smart when they make their palettes. They have such designs, like, I've never seen before, and they're just, like, mwah. <laughs> mwah. They're, like, wonderful. I love these little palettes. I'm going to put this in my purse. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about the classic version of Portable Painter or Micro, um, let me know down below. I'll try my very best to answer those questions for you. The weather is getting so nice. I can't wait to go paint. I feel like I'm rambling now. I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. You guys take care. And I'll talk to you really soon in another video. Okay, bye. <laughs>